Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you have me watching this is Risco and Osaka coming at you with some more uh, Media Molecules Dreams. Dreams of conic objects for unlawful conic knowledge. No. There are no Van Halen fans here. There, there may be. I, I don't know. I don't really remember Van Halen well enough to say whether or not I should be a fan or not a fan. I, d I remember Jump. Basically, that's about it's the extent of my Van Halenism. Van Halenism. That's a, that's a word, right? That's a that's a medical condition. It's something you should see a doctor about. Maybe take Propecia for. May or, or maybe not. I don't, I don't know if Propecia is safe. To be honest, just one of those vague medically terms that just floats around in the dome. The the dome piece, but. Uh, we got a queue up of some community creations that I, I tossed in this afternoon and some leftovers from last week. And if we can figure out how in the UI to find those things. Kronos, how are you doing? I hope life is treating you exceedingly well. I forgot to mention, I was going to mention on LSRS's Discord and then LSRS mentioned that he was a papa now. And that kind of sucked the wind out of the sails of what I was going to say to you. But uh, it looked like you had a really good haul from the con. The uh, the pictures that you posted were pretty darn cool. Going to be less great as soon as you open the UI. Right? Right. Let's just, you know, we got a flywheel. Why do we have a flywheel? That makes me nervous and worried. But I'm, I'm, I got my fingers crossed that we won't have any major issues as we did last night now where where do we find what is this what is this now notifications I have notifications uh, thumbs ups okie dokie that's that's good to know I didn't know that they were hiding the notifications there these days but that's fine oh shnikes we're already getting uh, connection quality notifications there that makes me that makes me a wee bit nervousy Hmm. Now, where do they hide the play later stuff? There we go. Play later. Uh, we got we got lots of stuff here, but I guess we'll start with when chickens give you lemons, you call the cops. Uh, what's our details? Context? That's unnerving for sure. I know, right? It's certainly worrisome. Context? None needed. This is your territory. Go get him, doggy. Originally created in 1985, but dreams didn't exist, so Back to the Future was created instead. I don't know what this means. I I'm glad that you had a really great experience at the con. And I'm glad that you got to pick up some cool stuff that you were interested in. And... Eh? 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 What the? What is? What? Okay, we're a chicken. There's no jumping in this chicken. Uh, there's some Legend of Zelda-esque music going on. But I don't know if it's actually Legend of Zelda. There's a bubble. I wish I hadn't picked that up, but we did it. I... I... Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is certainly, uh, it's certainly a thing. Hello, sir. Eh? Wait. Where did our, where did our, our hot dog man go? Ah. What in dog's name is this? We've got weird flaming heads, and they killed us. And now it's a turkey? Don't push turkey off a cliff, doggy. Weird little blur effect there. I don't know if that was added or if that's my uh, my PlayStation 4 deciding it wants to kill itself. So I'm hoping that that is on purpose. Can we get you off the cliff? Yes, we can. Maybe. It's going to take some doing. Cause this thing rolls around. 
Uh, I guess we'll push you in with the, the dung. Okay. I mean, this. W what the hell? This was in the weird section. It was listed as weird, so. Um, it is, I mean, kind of living up to its potential. There's a fat Yoshi. Alright, can I, can I swing the camera there? That's not a bad fat Yoshi. There's a hollow television. Uh, mayonnaise will become president. Don't believe me? Go eat an apple. Like, I mean, now you're just being weird for the sake of being weird. There's, there's no, uh, there's no deeper meaning here, and that makes me sad. Well, what if I don't follow that arrow? How about them apples? Yeah, I'll eat your apples. I'll eat them all up. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, gosh darn it. <laughs> Wait till Squid starts making Dreams content. I am actually I'm looking forward to seeing what Squid does in Dreams. I think that will be quite interesting. All right, I'm. Um, that was terrifying. I demand a sacrifice. As do we all, my friend. As do we all. I mean, is the sacrifice me? Is that what we're going for here? Uh, well, we'll just jump on the tongue, see what happens. I... Yeah, okay, so... Now we're poo. And our, our head is unattached? Which is what happens when you get eaten and digested, I think. Oh, well, that's back. We are a regenerating chicken. And that's for the best. What in dog's name? What does any of this mean? What? Okay, now we've got double lasers. And it's kind of damaging Logan Fowl, I guess. Pretty beefy. Our, our jerk tube creator here. Our influencer, as it were. Not really a lot of strategy to this fight. Logan Fowl seems to be ignoring us for the most part. Just stay still so I can just... I can... I can kill you? Do you have a weak point that I'm supposed to be hitting? Also, that's a hella noisy, annoying noise for the... Uh, the lasers there. Because this is going to take a while. Alright, I mean, you know, we're, we're doing it. Doing something here. Ah, there we are. Now you're trapped. Uh, and by trapped, I mean that you should be taking continuous damage, but you're not. So, why are you not taking damage? You are a freaky looking chicken. Yos! How's it going, yo? You don't do yet. Life is treating you well, I hope. We are trying to kill Logan Fowl. Uh, which is spelled wrong, but also kind of spelled right. But these lasers seem to be very wonky. Oh, well, we don't want to continuously shoot him. We just want to zap him. That's dumb, but okay. Zippity zappity. Zippity zappity, my friend. I think it may be. I think it may indeed be. Um, so, that was the thing. Oh god. Now we've got these uh, demon poops again. But now we have lasers. Can we kill them? I have no idea what's going on here. And I don't know if I like it. Eh. Uh, I hope so. 
I don't know how I feel about this question mark, but... That was, um, that was a thing. That was a certain thing. He's, I always say the name wrong. Histoire Angie? Histoire Angie? But this is, uh, Kikai Shoujo to Kwareta Mori, Robot Survival. So it's, uh, Robot Girl and the Broken Forest. And I have seen this one played before, and it's <laughs> epic is some well that's epic is a word that can be used. Now let's see. We got the rifle is R2. Aim is L2. There we go. Shooting is R1. Or attacking is R1. That's a cut. Okay, so I read that wrong. The guard is L1. Wait, but isn't L1 something else? No, guard is L1. Gotcha. And boost is X. Oh, that is rocking. The base is being attacked. Well, we, we can't allow that. Wait, am I floating in the air? I guess... Can I move? Crumbs. I suddenly can't move. That's great to know. Well, we don't need to move. We can just uh, post ourselves here. Excuse me, Roboman. All right. So basically, we got to take our uh, Robo Rabbit gal and destroy everything. Except for those things. Those are our friends. I won't be staying long today. I've got a dentist appointment in the morning. I'm glad that you dropped in, even if it was for a little bit. I hope that your dentist appointment isn't anything too significant. No, uh, no root canals or anything like that. Special L2 plus R2. Let's check it out. All right. That is special. Oh, crumbs. Okay. There, the, these guys are right there. We're gonna take them out. These golem looking jerkies. They ain't nothing. They ain't nothing at all. I think. I do wish there was a little bit of music in quiet. I don't know how I feel about that. I do see a different type of enemy over here. And who are you, my friend? You are, um... Well, you're, you're bulkier and beefier than the other one. Oh, our base is being attacked? No. I don't, I'm not going to allow that. Come here. Come here. There we go. Who is attacking our base? Who would dare attack our base? Some, some fire-breathing jerks, it looks like. Come here now. Please aim again. Come, come here. Well, I mean, it died easily enough, so there's that, but... It did seem to be a bit of a pain to actually hit. Nice. We've got a timer in the corner. I, I worked a huge amount on the newer test paint fair. I've got one more fix to do, and then I'll move on to put some spicy stuff. Nice. Is it like habanero spicy? What, what level of spicy are we talking about? Oh, you are very large. My friend, you are quite large. I'm afraid that I cannot allow you the luxury of survival. I mean, I, I mean no disrespect, but at the same time, have you seen yourself? You are so very large. No one would uh, allow you to 
continue to attack their base. Oh, the base has energy too. We're talking wasabi type spice? Okay. Hey, excuse me. I was beaten up on your friend. And then you just rock up in here like nobody's business. Like you're all cool and shit. But you're not. Oh, we're dead. Well, I guess they are all cool and shit. No, but we made it to the 3070. That's not so bad. I like that. I mean, he could use work, but I think this is one of their earlier levels. So, might explain why it's a wee bit empty-ish. Play this one before. No, that was, uh, that was a different RPG. Oh, wow. That's pretty slick. I, I wish the imp wasn't in picture, but still is kind of nice looking. Oh, okay. So we're an investigator maybe with a bad lumbago and a picture of Woody Harrelson in Natural Born Killers on our wall. Uh, that's the wall over here, not, not the wall over here with a uh, uh, well, who's the dude with the, the goofy-ass beard in Pirates of the Caribbean? It's just Davy Jones, right? Like, Davy Jones' locker, he's got the fish beard. Log in. Log in failed. Per dex required. Is this not my own computer? Why do we have a picture of Woody Harrelson in uh, Natural Born Killers? I'm, I'm really not sure how I feel about that. It's not a laudable character is all. Welcome, Ellie. Hey, Ellie. Thanks for playing. This is a work in progress. Please enjoy and thanks for playing. Special thanks to all creators of assets used. Please look at full credits. Novak all alone. Okay. I and mean, that is cool. Where, where was the other... There's there's our other one. Hey, Ellie, I'm back planet side. Come meet me at Bees in the Market District, one of the only places you can see the sky. I've got a hard drink waiting for you from Francis. Oh, Francis. Uh, what about our functions? We've got a window. All right, open up the window, let the rain come in. We got a door. Front door unlocked. Nice to know. VR training initializing. They've even got a VR mode. They must have made that for you, Kronos. Alright, we got a little bit of stick drift. But that's that's on my controller. That's not on the level. I'm really worried about Ellie's uh, lumbago here. Because she seems to keep on holding it. Nice jazzy soundtrack. The bar dirt? Oh, that's where the Alice in Chains cover band plays. I definitely want to go there. This doesn't look like VR is all. That's slick looking. I'm, I'm digging on that sushi sign. You know, it's little details like that. <laughs> I am the VR guy now. Oh, shice! Cult Master Monocle, yo! The bees is the bees' knees nowadays. Womp Cone? How are you doing, mate? It has been basically feeling like forever since the last time we saw you. I hope that life is treating you pretty well. New illegal tech surfacing. Uh, Versia Tech Branch. Versia Tech Breach, excuse me. Police High Alert. Sponsored by Perdex. You have to own it. Do I have to? Oh shit. Oops. I hope we didn't break ourselves. Oh, I am digging this. I mean, the, the run is a really weird looking run animation, but... You know, we've already established that Ellie's got some back problems. Sounds like someone's shooting at us. Available coming soon. Ellie has no face, by the way. 
I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, you want to go up the ladder then, mate? I think the schedule change threw me off a bit, and general apathy getting in the way of things is not usually a good combination. Also, is this the market square? Well, they told us it was a VR, like, simulation, but... I mean... I don't... That barricade didn't barricade us. It doesn't really seem particularly VR. And now we're back with Woody Harrelson. And I just don't know how I feel about Woody. Can we... Alright, there's no examining there. That's a very large studio apartment. This person must be rich. <laughs> what market square looks like this? A pretty jazzy market square. Uh, yeah, the schedule did change a little bit. Uh, we haven't... Wait, are we... Did we restart or something? Um, we haven't gotten kind of like a final schedule set. So right now it's just that the Thursday night stream, well all the streams are at 8 p.m. now. So that I can actually get home from work on Thursdays and and also Saturdays and you know take a shower and do all that stuff. Uh fudge. Well, maybe that's all that was ready for us. Maybe there's nothing else that's available. Also, why would you have a, like a half wall sitting right here doing nothing? You haven't even got any like flower pots on it or nothing. I was thinking of doing a TPS in Dreams, but I'm just happy to be able to make Connie have roller skates. Yeah, it's a good start. Oh, I guess that's all we got. Um, I guess that's all we got for us. So how do we exit out? I did like that, so I will give it a thumbs up. What's the roadmap look like? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it says VR training, but we didn't really actually do any training. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Unless they're training us for like the day-to-day the -day grind of office work, where you don't really do anything so yeah there's there's some kind of drift going on with my controller it's uh just kind of sliding over to the left hmm well moving along and uh, I want to hold on to Captain Cat until or if Hive drops by tonight because I know Hive is a cat fan as I myself am. So we've got uh, Pick and Mix by Humphreys. So we're going to do that. I want to try an action plan. Good technique for getting the imp to stay center. And now I can't remember what it was. Also, can we do anything here? At the Sear Light Diner. It's great. We got a couple of prize bubbles, which I mean is nice enough. Why why can I not collect this? I'm hitting the R2 button. Alright, there's that. Ah, gotcha. Actually, I'll be heading off to go get some Zs. Post a video of that new paint fair level I've been talking about in the LSS Discord once I got the basic features in and working. Uh, looking forward to it, Hirunda. You get a good night's sleep and best of luck with the uh, dentist tomorrow. Hopefully, you know, it, it is a... A painless bit of dentistry. We hope, we hope. Uh, I guess maybe this is all that's available? It is cool looking though. Like I, I like the building and I like kind of the weird, almost comic book flatness of the colors here. There's something kind of cool about that. But we've got nothing else so I guess we just exit. Wait, Nani? What's going on here? Hello, you catching the 88? No, because I'm not a Nazi. Jerk. 
Well, just say hello. I don't talk to Nazis. What are you watching? I don't care about this. A video about dreams? It's very meta. Dreams? A PS4 exclusive. One of their best. Uh, okay. I like the uh, extreme pixelization here. That's kind of cool. I also like our soda fountain. And this extremely lazy looking dude. I don't know what is smoking here. If it's instant ramen or just coffee. But, you know, we'll go with it. Eh, what is this? This does not flow from the previous two things that we looked at. Yeah, slightly disappointing. There was a nice theme going on there. But, as it were, I guess, we've abandoned that theme, thrown it out like a red-headed stepchild, because we're evil. Eh? Wait, what, what just happened? Am I in the Red Lodge now? It's Art! No, look, I've met Art. He's a pretty nice chap. His, his mustache is a mess, like a complete mess. And he, he's got like one really starey eye. But otherwise, like, he's a decent, he's a decent dude. But he's very distinctive. Uh, Art doesn't look anything like a, a weird winterscape with a bear in the center of it. He looks more like a, a middle-aged middle manager. You know, he's got the comb over thing going. It hasn't gotten really out of hand yet, but you could tell that it's going to be there in a year or so. Are we talking about the same art? Well, I'm always a cube. But if Harry Potter w were a cube, how would he hold his wand? I think that we just walked into David Lynch's wet dreams. Eh? Alright, like, pick a theme, level. Just, just any theme, but pick one. Checkpoint. Although I guess you should be happy that we got a little bit of gameplay. Art sounds kind of depressed. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell. He's the kind of person that, you know, hides his emotions a lot. Doesn't really let people in. He might be depressed, or he might just be very quiet, or he might be very shy. You know, it's, it's hard to say. This, um, kind of weird Connie with the, <coughs> like the thigh-high boots and the long gloves, I don't know, I kind of saw that coming. And you might ask, Ritsuko, if you saw that coming, why didn't you avoid it? And it's because I'm not a very good player. Pretty simple answers. <coughs> Excuse me for that. Oh, crumbs! <coughs> Am I going to be defeated by two blocks? I think not, but maybe. Aha! Take that! How you like them Granny Smiths? I ain't buying it. You had a deeper reason for dying there. <laughs> Always some kind of deep reason, yeah? Actually, I'm kind of liking this. I mean, so far... What's I say? World Select coming soon. Grab with Imp. Okay. Each individual piece I actually kind of liked. Um. Okay, so they... Well, that's not too many people's work that they used. Each individual piece I kind of liked, but kind of cramming them all together with like... Together like that was a little bit weird. 
No, uh, no description here as well. That's a bit of a shame. Metal Mother. Trapped on a hellish planet, your only way out is to appease the Metal Mother. Or is it? Dun dun dun! And this is coming to us from Mad Props 101. Anything that we need to know here? Nope. Full credits are... Not too many, actually. Not that it would be a problem if there were a lot of credits or not. Nonsense. You have to kill Providence. Damn straight we do. That Providence is a jerk, you know? He just sums up those two wormy, dragony things, and that's just completely unfair. Oh, wait. Whoever fights monsters should see that in the process that I completely missed that Nietzsche quote. But it was a Nietzsche quote, so, like, that's probably okay to, to at least semi-ignore. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Can we actually hit anything? I really like how Dreams displays what kind of creator you are. Oh, you mean with the, the different types of imps or the... Uh, what you're focused on. I don't know how I feel about our silhouette here. We look really goofy. And it looks like if we breathe too hard, we fog up our mask. So that's kind of cool. Location. Unknown. Alright. I'm liking the look. Liking the look. Jump. Cool. Uh, rock airborne cool not a weird Bernie Sanders thing that's that's completely different oh we can hit it now what the dogs have I just walked into Mandy that was a very Mandy-esque effect Which is, you know, perfectly fine. I don't have too much against Nicolas Cage. Although I do think when you peel the serial numbers off, that story-wise, Mandy isn't really all that interesting a movie. But they did an awful lot with the visuals. I thought the pacing of the movie was really quite well. I uh, like the uh, relationship between Nicolas Cage and Mandy previous to her fridging. Are these things going to hurt us? Are we just killing them for fun? Oh no, it, it's actually shouting no at us. I, I think these are sapient. It's, they're asking me to stop. Also, they're setting me on fire. Um... Well, which is it, folks? Are they trying to kill us? Are, is it self-defense? I have killed a number of their kind. You've done it this time. You've really done it this time. Hold on a second. I want to I check out... Ah... Uh, uh, what you're focused on, gotcha. <laughs> Looking good, Wall Iron, yeah. But I think, yeah, definitely, you know, murder for fun in science does seem to be... Oh, they killed me. You have perished. Try again and appease the Metal Mother. It's like... I don't know, Cyberpunk is done by Cronenberg? I'm going to try to zip through and not kill anything and see if that works. None of these jumps seem like they should be doable, but they are, so that's fine with me. Because they did give us that question mark about appeasing the Metal Mother. But frankly, I don't know if appeasement means killing all the 8-balls. Or if it means not killing the eight balls. 
It's all very mysterious. And frankly, my life has enough mystery in it at the moment. Stay away from me, eight balls. Stay away from me. I don't want to have to kill you. I'm not like that person in Risk of Rain. Not at all. I get it. You work for social services. You're killing your children. That's kind of the opposite of what social services does, right? I'm, I'm fairly, I'm fairly certain there. Okay, can we? Are we stuck? Oh, crumb diddlyums. Well, maybe we can get over to that lava flow. Come here. Come on. We're we're gonna we're gonna hack this. Oh Jesus! It's one of the the, the eight balls. No, I'm sorry, eight ball. I haven't killed anybody on this life. That was the last life. That was a completely different, uh, that was a completely different girl, yo. She just happens to look exactly like me. That's, that's it. Uh, we might be stuck? I don't seem to be able to get back up to the mesa that we were on. Not the black mesa. Just, uh, just completely regular mesa. Oh, no, we're okay. Ooh, I see something blue. Leon! How you doing, yo? A pleasure, as always, to have you. And I hope that life treats you well. I'm glad that you enjoyed that Isaac episode. Some of them do get to be, uh... Pretty frenetic. Oh, bugger! You have perished. Try again and appease the metal mother. Uh, did you have Rev queued? I just remembered I recommended that. I did not, but we will look at it as soon as... Actually, you know what? I'm going to bounce out of this level. We could just fiddle around with it and try to finally get to where we're supposed to go, but I think we've seen what we need to see so far. So let's check out Rev. Uh, exit creation. Yosh that was in the top 10 of the Community Jam Outer Space. I mean, okay, I guess. Dream surfing and text search, gotcha. There we go. Um. Well, I didn't... I mean, I got Rev put in, but... It's not... Ah, here we go. Rev. Ah, uh, we got... The imp is going a little bit wacky on us again. Let's see, what did they say? Rev is my first project that I've been working on since early access launch. A challenging third-person action game with boss fights. All artwork, animation, VFX. And majority of logic was done by me. Shout out to Suki for the killer boss music. Hey. Hey. And who is this? This is a uh, loner one. And we have a a 2B style. I'm guessing this is either a hero or a boss. Uh, but she doesn't seem to have figured out where to buy pants. So uh, we're going to have to you know, be a little bit careful in our running. Even the menu makes my my head hurt. I wish I had any project discovery made for that jam. Would have been perfect. Sneak concept could do better in action, but I'd love to try to make something like this. Okay. I am quite interested now. I know nothing about good action design, though, so that's that. When you say, like, good action design, you mean actually fighting and interacting with baddies type of thing? Uh, what's, what did I just do? Okay, so that's a dash. Gotcha. That's... Eh? Uh, am I... Eh? Okay. Alright, so we got the sword equipped now. Uh, can I... 
That is a pretty unusual way to attack with a sword. Now granted, I, I don't have any experience attacking people with swords, but I don't know if you're just supposed to poke at them like that. I think you... Oh, oh there we go. Excellent. Kirtana V. Toggle R1 for absolute defense, summon state. Sword of Mercy. Focuses on damage, enables use of all skills and attacks. Unable to block or heal damage received. Okay. Uh, basic attack is square. Charge attack is hold triangle. Jump is X. Luminous mode. Releases light, granting a significant... Oh, we saw that. Okay. And restricted skills, which we can't see. Okay. Where, where did I go? Alright, so there's our charge attack. I don't remember how we switch attacks, but whatever. Also, I just, I really want to buy this lady some pants. Got a double jump. I really like the environment here. It reminds me a wee bit, not really strong me, strong Lee, but just a wee bit of uh, El Shaddai, which had another kind of very bright, semi-abstract, lots of contrast type environment like this. Although El Shaddai was much more, much more out there. You only heal when you're not holding the sword. I, I refuse to ever not be holding the sword. Fun fact, during the medieval period, stabbing your attacker was the quickest way to kill them. I thought that just bonking them over the head with a rock was the quickest way to kill them, but... Most battles didn't even last very long either. Offerings to the shrine unlock new areas and skills. Okay. That is their shrine, but we have nothing to offer but ourselves. Oh my god, it even says it right there. We have nothing to offer. That's just rude. Also, is... Is our sternum spinning? And is that healthy? Excuse me, miss. Um, I don't know how to, to tell you this, but... Your, your sternum seems to be spinning like that. It's just... I can't imagine that's healthy. Well... Who am I to judge, really? If that's what a body wants to do, then it's absolutely up to them to do it. What about our pantless attire? Well, I mean, it doesn't even have to be pants. It could just be like a, like a skirt. I'm pretty sure she's just wearing a bathing suit. And that's got to be uncomfortable after a while. Man, this is fancy looking as hell, that's for sure. Destination ruins? I'm gonna ruin these ruins. That's what I'm gonna do. Defeat all enemies, remove the barrier. Give me my... Give me my sword back. I don't want the sword floating in the air. I just sat down? That's kinda cool. There we are. Never not be sorting. We can offer our body. Um, unless you've got, I think, at least two dots in vicissitude, and maybe three, you can't make clothing out of people. Oh. Maybe we should try this charge attack. That didn't kind of work. The, um, the enemy looks cool. And I'm kind of ribbon on the character model, but the character model does look cool. I really like the floaty sword. Sheathe weapon to activate health for regeneration. I need no regeneration. But the, uh... The actual fighting feels clunky as hell. Wait, wait, why am I in danger all of a sudden? But that is a really cool way to indicate it. I, I will definitely give him that. 
Hi. Look, um, I'm sorry, robot. I need to, to just kill you now? Why are you so much tougher than the last one, you jerk? That is absolutely rude. Totes rude. I will say I like this, but I just fought an enemy and I feel like some more kickback or feedback from damage would be good. Yes. Yes, I do think that is a thing. Uh, it takes a while to equip your sword, so it helps to plan ahead your attack phases. I think they should fill the spaces with stuff or cut down on the amount of empty space. Oh, isn't that basically the same thing? I'll give this one more shot. Why is the retry still on the screen? Retry. We, we have selected you. You don't need to be on the screen anymore. I don't know, though. I mean... There's a, there's a utility to empty space, I think, in level design. Giving a sense of scope to things. What was our... I can't believe I forgot how to equip the sword already. Okay. It would be nice if there was a bit of a lock-on. I think that would be helpful as well. 3D fighting games without any kind of lock-on can be a bit annoying to keep yourself on top of where you're supposed to be. Man, this thing is owning me this time. Oh my god. Dude. Wh where did this power-up come from? What a jerk. Alright, so we're... That's a very fast regen. I'm still worried about the sternum thing, but, you know, I'll let it go. Unless, of course, you're going for desolate, right. I think it makes sense since you need to put space between you and the enemy to heal, so you need space. That, that does make an awful lot of sense, actually. Are you blocking me or something, enemy? I mean, you didn't take any damage, and that seems, like, slightly unsportsmanlike. Oh god. Okay. Run away! Run away! And fast! This chubby old Darth Vader over here. This guy's Darth Vader cosplay is the worst. Unless he's going for Kylo Ren, and just right on top of it. That level of difficulty, you don't want to throw that in the player's face immediately. I could, uh... Oh god, that was terrible, I apologize. I don't even know where that, that... weak-ass yawn came from. I mean, if you're gonna yawn, you should just, like, just super yawn, right? Make it unbearable to listen to. I'll do better next time. Yeah, I mean, there's not... At least this, uh, this guy went down a lot easier than the last Jokers. So that is... I mean, it's useful. Eh? Well, are we finished? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Did I break something? Lady, your run is just getting weirder and weirder. To be wannabe. To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or spend all your time memorizing a stupid text from Shakespeare, Wait, no, that's that's not right. That's that's I, I think I messed up the second line. Uh, I don't know Dream's logic, but I feel like hit detection should be in the arc of the swing instead of the sword itself. That's an interesting point, actually. I think the environment should be able to work in any kind of space. Short spaces could add to the tense intensity of combat. Well, right, but 
we don't want to make the combat too tense right off the right off the cuff. You want to give players a little bit of time to get used to how the combat works, and then, like, lock them into a small space. Oh, I see the problem. This guy's Darth Maul. He's got two freaking swords. Well, Darth Maul, I mean, he had the two swords, but they were connected in the middle, so that's not quite right. Who was the... General Grievous? Was it General Grievous that had, like, uh, the double lightsaber thing and six different arms? Why was there he sat by the entrance? He does mean fire. I did not see any fire, but I also didn't see that kanji, so... Uh, he's a double Jedi. Oh, call Master Monocle, you on your way out? I hope that you have a great afternoon, and thank you so much for dropping in. It's, it's good to know that you're still about, and that you're still doing relatively well. Now I want to I wanna look and find that kanji. We will always be here for you to find us. Once you finish your porridge, you can rock up anytime. Well, I mean, anytime within the next, like, hour and a half, two hours. It does say he. You're right. Uh, it's a firehouse? It's kind of a cool way to, to write it, though. It feels very old fashioned. The, uh, the design on this enemy, though, at least, like, from a purely visual standpoint, is really nice. Not overly detailed, but still kind of clear that he's a robo. Also, could you not put me in danger? You, my friend, are in danger yourself. Was that everyone? Why does it say he? Or Ka. It could say Ka. I mean, same kanji, just different readings. Hmm. I want to know why it says 6,000? Sitting by her knee there? Oh, this guy's running away. He knows the score. He knows that we killed the other bunch of folks here, so... He's like, no, not me. Look, I don't even have my sword drawn. You totally got your sword drawn, jerk. But, but, see, you can't... You can't kill me because I don't have an HP bar. I'm like, stop getting meta on me, goddammit. Nobody asked you for your meta commentary. The HP part appeared just before we killed that dude. Hmm. What is it that we are... Like, I know our goal is to kill everything. But... Where is everything? Like, are there hidden enemies or... Smartest AI in the enemy that runs away from the character with magic and a giant floating sword. See? I mean, it does make a lot of sense. If I saw somebody with magic and a giant floating sword just rocking around my neighborhood, I'd probably take a hike. I think I, I would find better things to do in completely different areas of town. None of, me, none of the enemies were hidden when I played. And I went through the first two main areas. Hmm. I see some movement in the background there. So we got at least one, mayhap two, enemies left to, uh, to myrtleize. Oh, this, this, this dude's only got one sword, so... Like, clearly, we're not having none of this. Uh, except when we get killed. 
But otherwise, definitely not having none of it. Step up to the mic. The mic it in. Yosh? Yosh. Alright. Was that... Was that the lot? Apparently we can't get out, so there's got to be somebody else who's kind of snarking around someplace. Excuse me, Mr. Enemy. I'm only here to kill you, but in the gentlest way possible. I swear, be live me. Hmm. I got stuck on the first section because it claimed I didn't kill all the enemies, so I don't know, maybe it's a glitch? Could be. There's definitely the, the possibility that something went sideways. Level's pretty beefy for the record, so it's fine if you leave before the boss fight. But we'll give another quick search through here. And if we at least don't find this, uh, this last hidden dude, or dudette, then we will probably, probably bounce for now. It might be c something that I come back to for the show. Although if it is really beefy, it'd probably be a few weeks before I got to it, because I'd need to do it on a Sunday. I don't think I could do a big beefy episode. A big beefy level for after work episode. Hmm. Well, somebody's playing Trixie Buggers with us. And I think that's just just simply rude. Uh did anybody else hear a really big clank? No? Hmm. Well. Oh, hold on a second. Did did this just open up? Huh. I guess it must have done. Okay. All right. Well, I do think that I, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go back to the to the hub and look for something a little bit shorter. But but Kronos, thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. That doesn't sound right. Thank you so much for uh, pointing this level out and making sure that we rem remember to take a look at it because I do, I do like it. Now I want to take a bit of a closer, a bit of a deeper dive. Honor. Did we have any like music visualizers floating around so that I can just put something on to play while I? Go grab a smoke. Oh wait, that's dream serving. That's why none of this stuff is what I've I've got queued up. Hi hi. Let's see disco. Play later. I feel like we should have had at least one kind of visualizer style level. Now this is action, so that's not it. Where? Morpheus, small little project which you can make bezel bef Maybe we don't have any visualizers at the moment. I'll have to take a look, a look for some of them. I added more to Project Discovery if you want to check it out after a shorter dream. I think I just might do that, yeah. I know I wrote down the level name before, but I'm going to write it down again just where I can see it. Because we're on it. I certainly can't spell. That's um, well done. Disco, well done. Project Discovery. Cool. But uh, give me like about two minutes or so. I'm just going to grab a quick smoke and a bit of water, and we will be right back.
Yosh. All right, let's see if we can find a bit of a short one, and then we'll take a look at uh, Project Discovery. I gotta save the Shrek one for when Hive drops in. Solid gears are metal. Fairly short stealth level where your only objective is to make it through without being detected. Level's being completely rebuilt. It's from GBALX. Okay. Uh, let's do normal mode just to start. And we are a box with a bandana. That's cool. I am 100% okay with this. Ooh. Fancy Dan. Oh, you... Well, you can't just... Just swing around 180. You gotta... You gotta do it in, uh... Short chunks. I see. They want us to... To check their... Their patterns. Well... Two can play at that thing. Coming in contact with lasers will also cause you to respawn. Don't want that. I like that it leaves little footprints. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, lasers. Oh, buggery. All the way back at the beginning? Well, I mean, we didn't lose that much progress, but still... It seems a bit much. Hi. No more lasers, please. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry. Zoop. That's that's the sound of stealthily moving quickly. Is zoop. It, what what just what was that? Was that water? Eh? Oh, maybe that's a checkpoint. Okie dokie. Oh. Fudge. Oh, good, good, good. We do have checkpoints. It's quite a quick arc on those swings there. I don't know if I like that. Uh-oh. Don't mind us, we're just a box. Nothing but boxes here. Uh-oh. Uh Got it, got it, got it. I kind of like the look of this. This is kind of cool. Box! 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 Are you, um... Are you going to turn around? No? Okay. Cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, I want to know when we get our, uh... A, a Raiden sword. That's really what I'm looking forward to. I want to be a box with a sword. Axel! Ah, we were so close! So very, very close. Okay, we're sneaking around this way this time. Sneak, sneak, sneak! <gasps> oh, you bastard! They were sneakier than I. This cannot be allowed. Eh? Chill the mate. Did I did I touch the lasers? I touched the lasers. Oh my god. They are crafty. Very, very crafty. Oh, he's gonna come in here, isn't he? Darn it. Darn it! Hmm. How are we, uh... Maybe we gotta wait for that dude to go in there. And then we can sneak around him. <sighs> alright. Alright, alright. We got this. We got this. Okay, this guy's gonna go over here. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I wonder if these guys are like... Are they waiting for a box? Totally unfair. I I call shenanigans. Alright, you are gonna go... You go all the way to the corner. Okay, so that's a problem. So... Now this guy... Yes! 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 Alright. We have stealthed 
stealthed it. Stealthed it. Did it. it. Well, however you would verbify that, we done did it. Yes. Uh oh. Drones. They have drones. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this new development, folks. Drones are blind, can only detect player movement. Ho 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 ho. Alright. So they're like T Rexes, basically. Uh. Yosh. Stealth. No! That the drone was supposed to. Fine. Hi. Zoop. Zoop. <gasps> Damn it. These. I mean, they're, they're tricksy. They're they're very tricksy. Nice looking drone though. I mean, it's cool looking. All right. All right, we got this. We are totally, we totally have this. Zoop. <sighs> Movable bits. Curse you. That's okay. You're not nearly as, as stecky as you think. Move slowly through the malfunctioning guard's detection zone to avoid alerting it. Alright, I guess that was slow enough. It's always hard to tell, like, how slow is okay? Ho ho! think you're s some kind of hot shit. Gosh. Box! Box! Alright, so he's malfunctioning. Eh? Eh, just wait. What? 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 Fine. I guess. I'm worried about that guy in the back there. <sighs> See, how slow is slow? That is the question on everyone's lips. I've got the like the worst crink in my neck. And I don't know why. And that's kind of a problem, because I'm gonna have to work tomorrow. And you can't be having like a crink in your neck while you're trying to trying to haul crap. Okay. No! It's it's really hard to move slow right off the cuff it's easier to slow down from fast all right. all right, you do the thing all right there we go now we want to oh Ah, these laser grids. It's worse than Resident Evil, the, the movie. It is a little bit, like, I like what it's going for, actually. But, well, like any stealth game, it, it is a bit of a pain in the tuchus. Height. So I think like 
what we want to do, and I don't know if we have the time to do it, but I think what we want to do is first wait for this dude to go away, right? We're going to wait for the grid. Perfect. Yosh. All right. Here's the last run. If we can zoop by this. Oh, and they give us a checkpoint. That is really nice. So these guys, they run and they cross. No! <laughs> eh? Oh, there's holes. Well, that's, I mean, just seemingly unfair. Stealth games always have that frustration, though, but I suppose it makes winning rewarding. I think it can, yeah. I think it's kind of part of what you're aiming for. What you're aiming for with that type of design. Okay. I. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second there. We was safe. We was 100% safe. Alright, we got this. Whoop! Mission complete! Want your name on the leaderboard? Complete time trial mode. I think not, but thank you. That was... Yeah, actually, I can, I can get behind that. That was kind of cool. I would even consider playing a follow-up to that. Not right now, but... If, if such a follow-up were made... Yeah. Yeah, I think they did a nice job with that. The uh, the guards were a little bit quicker than I was kind of expecting, but otherwise, we say project discovery. Gotcha. Donovan learns to read. Uh, wait, no, no. Why did you why did you erase that? Disco, why did you erase that? But because we didn't. I, I don't know what happened. Discovery. Oh, there we are. Right. So I want to. I gotta turn off the AC. This is f like it's gone from too hot to freezing. In my window open here and let's see if I remember well basically anything from the last time uh, what do we got procedural generated we got ship interiors uh, Italian it, intel, Italian alien diplomats no intelligent alien diplomatic encounters Crew to talk to, story lore. Alright. Well, you got a lot going on in there. Features, included features are on the left and planned are on the right. Alright. Uh, you mentioned a lack of feedback for time, so I added a rotating sun for a visual. And I made the controls button a uniform touchpad button. Also, space looks a bit nicer now. There's also a work in progress ship interior you can play. With people to talk to. Oh, that's really cool. You're really getting a lot of, uh, of work into this, Leon. Uh, let's see. At the... Alright, that's giving us the, the different times. Right, I remember now. I really like the visual aspect of this. And that's something I, I remember from the last time that we played. The hide controls. We're going to land on the planet. We're going to land on the moon. Return to the main deck. Warp and change camera. Right. Hmm. 
we can just see the the ship just a little bit as it as it moves. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see what the main deck looks like. This is where you control the ship and mobilize its drones. From the main deck, you can also speak with all your specialist officers. Speak with them, walk up to them, and press X. Chair in the center of the room is the captain's chair. From here, you can select the module you want to use. Navigation will move the ship to the next system and allow you to send uh, RSUS to the planetoids in the system to explore. In systems with a ringed planet, you can mobilize and control a DED to collect materials from the rings. This is listed as asteroid mining. Ho ho ho. Oh, I love the pixelated look here. I think that's a really good choice of filter for the, uh, well, just for the level in general, but, yeah. It's got a very old school feel to it. Commander Stevens. Greetings, Captain. Everything is ship shape here in artillery. Something you needed? What does an exploration ship need artillery for? Ha ha. With all due respect, Captain, we have no idea what we're going to come across out here. Sure, space is pretty empty, but the moment the lasers hit the fan, no scientist or engineer is going to know what they're left from right. Not to mention, artillery is responsible for keeping all your military-grade mining equipment running. If space is an ocean with great treasures and even greater storms, then I consider artillery to be the life raft of the ship. I, I kind of like it, though. Yeah, I, don't don't worry too much, mate. It it's it feels very like keeping in line with the type of presentation that we've got going on here. So yeah, no no worries at all. Oh hey, Captain. What can science do for you? What can't science do for me? I got problems, and science is going to solve them. Um... Oh, well, I guess, I guess there's not too much that this chap wants to say. Main deck, fair enough. Alright, so we... I guess we can't interact with the ladders? Which is fine, but... Don't worry, I cringe at my own writing as well. Uh, Y'all are a little bit too hard on yourself, Joe. I liked what you had in Chapter Zero, Kronos. <coughs> there wasn't anything cringe-worthy in there. Morning, Cap'n. Evening? Good night? Space really messes with the sleep schedule. Got a question for engineering? What can you tell me about the ship? Why can't we import coordinates for our jumps? Ooh, that's a good question. I want to know that. Listen, I hope you're not pointing fingers here. We don't know what went wrong. We put in the coordinates for Alpha Centauri C, but we clearly ended up somewhere totally random in the galaxy. It went further than anyone thought possible. We're working around the clock to find the error. I hope so. Engineers got us into this mess. They better get us out. Haha! <laughs> I, I guess we're, we're playing the asshole, Captain. We're choosing the asshole captain dialogue prompts. All right, that's cool. I like it. We'll rock up into our captain's chair. We have no head. My God, no wonder they don't respect us. We have no head. It. I thought. Oh, there we are. Which module would you like to take control of? Navigation or cancel? I have completed the lift, but no other floors, uh, it will be a multi-floor ship you can explore. Ha 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 ha. Now let's see. We want to land on the planet and see what we can see here. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like a pretty big project, so by all means, don't feel like you got to rush on it. I don't think Dreams is going to be going anywhere for a while. Let's see, uh, do, 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 do. We've got mine. We got scan, change view, engage flashlight. Mine, all oh mine.
Uh, it's an achievement. Oh, that's slick. I like that. I like that. Engage the flashlight. Oh, we can see it a little bit there. Yeah. Scan? I guess there's nothing for us to scan right at the moment. Change the camera. Alright. Vertical boost. There we go. Rotate with... Ah, there we go. L1 and L2, that's our rotate. L1 and R2. L1 and L2, that's genius. Well done, Risco, well done. Oh, what are you? Are you a space angel? Can I scan you? Are you... Are you scannable? Oh, there we go. Well, it's certainly a cutie pie. Life, but not as we know it. Scan your first anom ano anomalous creature. I think I can hear them squeaking. Oh, I like that. That is pretty slick. They're space ghosts. Perhaps we'll find Zorak. All right. I like the fact that we actually found aliens. We got some more aliens over there. I imagine that we don't engage the aliens with fighting. Each planet has a 50% chance of life forms now. Interesting. I do like the achievements. I think that's pretty cool. And I like the way that the uh, the achievements were implemented, the way they popped up on the screen like that. Is there... Oh, we got like an unknown element from scanning? Huh. I guess we can't mine right yet, or right here. Oh, Hive! Yo, how you doing, yeah? Each creature has its own generated voice. There's materials to gather, but no upgrades to spend them on yet. Interesting. Now, the... Oof, bump into something. Hey, careful, drones aren't cheap. Nice. You gather ore from rocks. Gotcha. Now, is there... Is there somewhere to, like, check your achievements so that you can see what, which ones you've already gotten? Good, good. Back from the Evangelion Marathon Part 1. Oh, that's right. You were saying that the other night, that you were doing a, a marathon. So are you, like, are you going to do 13 episodes and 13 episodes? Or are you breaking up a little bit more? Because I could see that... From experience, I could see that getting to be a little bit much if you try to do the whole thing in one go. We'll have a big list of achievements uh, menu. Cool. I look forward to seeing that update. I, I mean, I kind of scoffed a little at achievements when they first implemented them with uh, you know, PlayStation 3. But I have certainly taken a cottoning to them. We did 12 tonight. We're potentially going to get the rest done next time. Well, I think at least breaking it up a little bit is probably a good idea, yeah. The one time that I did... That, that me and my friends did uh, all of Evangelion in one sitting. And it was... Yeah, it, it was certainly a thing. I don't know if it improved the experience or not, but it certainly was an experience. Uh, I've done all 26 in one day. Yeah, it's... I mean, it, it's a hoot. The brain does start to get a little bit wobbly towards, towards the end of it. Oh, we did get to do a little bit of mining. Excellent. 
We got our ore. And then if we want to go back to the ship, we just hit square. Excellent. Now how... Warp is R1. Let's check out one more planet. Uh, got it? Oh, okay. I thought that was a planet. That was just us. Nice animation, by the way, for the for the warp. Everything gets wobbly near the end in Eva. That I mean, that is true. That is true. There's no question about that. Do we try midnight? Let's try midnight. It's spooky. I'm uh, gonna land on the planet. We also planned the skeleton of our Japan trip. Nice! And also got some financial advice from two of my friends who are bankers. Damn, I don't know any friends who are bankers. Oh! What are you, friend? No, don't run away! I'm scanning you! Is it a duck or a dinosaur? Scan your first animal! <laughs> We've discovered something! I remember these little things. Ooh, nice grass effect. Ah, Kronos, you know us. I mean, I'm not a banker, but yeah, I could I could give you bad financial advice. Uh, well, you could check out a ring planet too. That would be cool, just to hear your thoughts on the asteroid mining. All right, all right, let's let's try doing that. Also, I think we got stuck, perhaps, perhaps on a duck. Let's see, square was jump back. Now, like actually getting to the planet is kind of a random warp, right? I'm basically going to set up a Citibank account, get myself a frequent flyer rewards credit card, that has no international transaction fees. That's pretty smart. I think that would probably be quite a good idea. All right, well, let's... We're going to cycle... and see if we can't find a ringed planet. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. So now... Pray to RNG for rings. I like that. And we did get one. Now, to actually send something down. Commander Stevens, I'd like you to send something down to mine for us. Ah, yes. Our Debris Excavation Drone. Excavation Drone. We use them regularly to collect materials from asteroids, or if we're really lucky, damage alien ships. You can use my one anytime. You know, in case you'd like to blow off some steam, destroying debris. You at least pick up some useful materials doing it. Thank you, I'll keep that in mind. Alright, so... How did we... Oh right, we can do it from the chair. Asteroid mining. Kick asteroid... Captain's chair, but interesting that you want f f uh, from Stevens might add an option to have him send it. Well, I remember that uh, I remember that there was a dialogue option where he he would tell us about the DED. So I thought that was going to let me know how to do it. I'd forgotten that it was in the captain's chair. Look around. Use the left stick. Accelerate, decelerate with R2 and L2. Mining laser with X. Collect materials from asteroids and debris by shooting at it. Picked up automatically by the DED. Gotcha. Every planet with rings can be excavated for different asteroid material. So we get ice, ferrite dust, condensed carbon. You can return the ship at any time with square. Alright, so look around with left stick. Accelerate, decelerate with R2, L2. Mining laser is X. I think we can remember all that. Oh, this is cool looking though. Uh oh. Uh, don't, don't, don't go too far. 
It is. Uh, this is Leon's. This is, uh, this is Leon's hard work. And hard work in progress. I don't... I don't know if this is on your end or if this is on my end, Leon. Because, like I said, we have been having a little bit of trouble with, uh, the controls, the controller forever. With the stick drift, but... I do feel like I'm kind of... I keep on going off course. But that just might be me. Oh, no, 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 no! Bugger! Bugger, 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 bugger! Go back, go back! Not the square button, the X button. Hi! <laughs> okay, let's not... No, 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 no. All right, come on, come on, stay, stay on target, stay on target, kind of on target. I like the boost, the boost is pretty slick. Okay, come on, come on, come on, down, down, there, there we are. Pew, pew! Is that, is that helping? Oh, rockin'! We got ourselves some condensed carbon. Is there an obelisk that lets you obliterate yourself from existence? <laughs> I mean, somewhere, probably. Uh, must be I need to get back to my LBP nonsense at some point. My only complaint so far is that some of the font is a bit confusing, but I have reading disorder. Uh, actually, let me ask because. When I look at the when I look at the screen on on the the laptop and I've got a fair amount of blur on my end of things it's not something on my telly but I'm wondering for all of y'all how crisp is the picture because if you're getting the same kind of blur that I'm getting then it might not be the font problem it might be just you know whatever the resolution is of my stream. I'm never sure if the video quality is an issue that only I notice, or if that's something that shows up for everybody. Uh, it's probably because of the lack of dragon space. Oh, that's a good point. It's only 20%. Not 0%, but 0 is too much. Okay. It is a little blurry, but it's usually not noticeable. So that might be a little bit, that might be part of it, Hive, if there's a, there's a bit of blur. It doesn't, like when I look at it on the telly, it doesn't seem too bad as far as legibility. Although I could see how, like the kerning might be a little bit close together if you do have issues with reading. Oh, I kind of like this. I think this is a cool little bit, Leon. Now, the, um... It might be. I think it's also confusing what was X and capital A, for example. Ah. No, hell no, Leon. This is good. This is good, and I'm having a good time with it. I wouldn't worry about it at all. I'm going to take another quick run around the ship, because I want to see if if I can see... Um, I want to see if I can see what Hive is seeing. Which is like a completely nonsense way to put that, but... Okay. So, uh, it's definitely better time spent here than whatever we looked at, uh, oh, well, that, that first thing that we looked at, Kronos, was nuts. Like, I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, yeah, font doesn't differentiate from capitals for some reason. Um, um, like, how does this, oh, it was on the DED screen. Uh-huh-huh-huh-huh. 
So this this font at least is is legible for you. Out here in deep space, with worlds nobody has ever seen, imagine the discoveries we're going to make out here. I mean, granted our warp core is pretty unpredictable, and that leaves us kind of stranded out here, but we're self-sufficient. I'm sure we'll discover something out here that will get us home. Plus, there's always the chance we end up warping right back into Soul's arms. Okay. All right, so it's not it's not the font in every section, but that particular section that was giving you trouble. Then I'll take I'll see if I can bring up that screen one more time. Although since we've already seen it uh so we've already seen it once, so I guess they're not going to show it to us again, which makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's, uh, we'll return to the deck, and I'm, I'm liking this a lot, Leon. It's a one-time tutorial. That's actually a good thing, to be honest. Um, having tutorials, like, forcefully repeat, I find pretty annoying. Having tutorials accessible, if somebody feels like they've missed something, is not such a bad idea. But I notice like a lot in LBP2 levels, or not LBP2 levels, but just, you know, LBP levels in general, like the tutorial cutscenes weren't set to just trigger once and once only. So every time you pass through a certain section, the, the, that cutscene would trigger again. And that can get pretty annoying after a while. So I think making it a one shot is probably a good choice. Uh, what I wanted, I wanted to ask, um, <clears throat> because, so when we talked to the engineering chap, and he's telling us about the DED, I might add a manual in the menu, or like a room downstairs might have a help page or something. That's not a bad idea. I, I mean, if it's if it doesn't get too big on you, but just kind of have it available. So the engineering guy mentioned that we might find derelict spaceships as well. Is that something that you are going to implement? Or is that just kind of flavor text? Because that would be kind of neat. Tutorials should be encouraged, not mandated before playing a game. I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's probably a pretty good way to look at it. That is slick, though. Let's... Where were we? Oh, the, the, the PS4 is, is certainly making some noise now, so... I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Alright, we've got, uh... We've got Shrek's Bizarre Adventure, Work in Progress, by Ivan KL 22 Logic isn't hard, but the modeling of them uh, will be. Yes, and I want to add them to the rings randomly. Okay. Is this your first time playing? Would you like to play a tutorial or something like that? Yeah. Or make them a ran random orbital object like a moon. Another way is to intrinsically weave the tutorial into starting levels. I mean, I think those are all good points, of course, on completely different topics. But, yeah, I mean, I think... What you're kind of hitting at, Kronos, is probably a pretty decent way to make the tutorials accessible, but not, you know, right up in your face if you've played the level before, for example. And I, I like the idea of the the derelict ships being a random orbiting encounter. That is kind of neat. We can't see Shrek's face. How do we know if this is truly Shrek? This could be a, a, a pseudo-Shrek. A faux Shrek, as it were. A faux Shrek to be a faux to Shrek. Uh, hello, Krabulon. I can... I can ride on the crab. 
Well, now that is certainly a thing. I have a really cool idea for the tutorial on my project, but... Hey, that the crab just killed us. Uh, but I don't imagine I'll be a freck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't imagine I'll be making the main menu for a while. How's the, um... How's stage three coming for you, Kronos? I know that you were saying the other day that you kind of, uh... You kind of hit a bit of a dead spot. Kelly Shook. If you have the time, I publish a new level called Down by the Docks. Well, welcome, Kelly. And uh, I do have the time, so we will absolutely take a look at that. And I hope that, that life is treating you well this evening. Or whatever time it may happen to be, wherever you are watching. I Do they intend us to go out to those islands, do you think? Or are they just kind of there? Uh, nice death scream. Fair enough. Alright. Invisible walls. Those are my favorites. I do love invisible walls. Cannot climb the trees. This is a... It's a bit of an impotent trek that we've got going on here. The enemy bullet synergy is fighting me right now. Interesting. You're going to have some synergies going on. Maybe even more unfairly than in stage two. Uh-oh, crabs. Wait, we take damage riding on the crab? That's totally unfair. Or maybe we don't? I'm so confused. Which is basically heresy for my design philosophy. Heresy! Stuffing instead of potatoes? Heresy! Look at that, there's a whole uh, world type of thing going on up here. There's there's nothing in this level, is there? Like, this is just... Derpy looking trees and rocks? I wonder, can... I mean, can we climb the rock wall to get over to those islands? I don't, I'm not quite sure if that's a possibility. Also, I'm having trouble picking the right BGM for a storm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think you've got probably a better handle on what music is out there and available to you, or I would... Are they? Or I would, uh, I'd recommend something. It seems like we can't... That is the goofiest looking freck I've ever seen. You, my friend are clearly a knockoff freck. And we climbed a tree? And we're going for onions, but there are no onions. All right. Creation, you have bested me. And that's just fine. Now, why do we have this circle here? What looks like another level is in it. Eh? Is that a connected level? That's weird. That face, I know, right? You can check Digitoast on Little Big Audio Channel if you want to suggest a song for the stage in the boss fight. I could do that. I mean, I could at least give it a listen. Uh, Digitoast. I think I've got Little Big Audio actually subbed on my uh, on my YouTube channel down by the docks is actually quite good fun platformer cool I am a big fan of good fun platformers so I would be more than happy to take a look at that I'm dead <laughs> don't die is it's, it's this is very much uh shikinshi here. This is a no dying zone. It is it is unallowed. Let's see down by the docks. Are they? 
Okay, that was really weird. I don't know why they would tell us there were nothing, uh, there was nothing to find. Shuki monster. Oh hey. Oh Kelly Shook. Okay, that makes absolute complete sense. <laughs> you can tell I'm really good at putting one and one together and and getting a result that's not a number. All right. Oh my god, it's it's the uh it's the LBP music. I love it. Ah, crumbs. Crumbs. <laughs> wah wah. I know, right? And a fairly solid rendition of that music. Alright, so this seems like it's just, it's a straight up, I mean, I don't want to say a 2D platformer, but kind of on one layer platformer. I like that. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of those in Dreams. Environment is slick. The little mechanical bits are nice. I'm a big fan of the music. I didn't think we were going to make that, actually. I think the hem of my skirt got caught on the the edge of the platform and that allowed me to boost myself up. I don't know if that was intended or not, but if it wasn't, it's it's a thing. If it totally was, then no problem, but semi secret coins as well. I don't know if, uh, if Kelly, if, uh, if you're still in the, the chat, Kelly Shook, this is, this is pretty slick, yo. Oh, crumbs. Crumbs. Ah! Oh, we did make it. <laughs> and again on Strange Reaction Theater. Ah, so... Now, can we get... Can we get that red coin? And the answer is, of course we can. Because we have the skills to pay some form of bills. Is there finally a Yume Niki le level in Dreams? It's worth a check. I don't know why, but I don't see many quality 2D platformers, but this is really up there. It is absolutely up there. I'm liking it a lot, and I'm I'm trying to think if we have seen, like on the streams or on the show, Cubix is kind of, sort of, 2D, 2D with a twist, I suppose. Jump Souls as well. I think you could you you could call Jump Souls 2D, but otherwise, I think. Maybe we really haven't seen all that many. I wonder if people are just a little bit enamored with the, the 3D aspect right now. So they're kind of going nuts with that. One thing that I, I would like to see here is some kind of visual checkpoint indication. Oh, crumbs! Didn't think they were all gonna drop down at the same time like that. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! You thought you had me fooled, but it was you who was fooled. Fool? Nifty. Might make one after Project Discovery. Look for that in five years. Well, I. I mean, I, I hope that the channel is still around in five years. I'd, I'd love to still be doing this. We've been doing the. Uh, we've been doing little bite-sized planet for. A scooch over two years now. And. 
if you count it from fresh, we've been doing LBP stuff. It'll be three years in October, three years in November, maybe. So and we've come this far. I'd, if it's possible for me to still be putting the show together, uh, yeah, hell, we'll, we'll make a date. You, you said you'll have it out in five years. I'm going to put that on a calendar and, and see, like, where's, where's, my, where's my 2D level from Leon? <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, Kelly, you've gone quiet, so I don't, I don't know if you're there. And if you're not there, that's okay. Or if you don't want to answer, that's okay, too. I really like the level. I like the look of it. thought the gameplay was really solid. Uh, the mechanical elements, the spiky bit that we saw before we go into the cave where the the two spiky bits were coming in and out I thought that was really really neat well handled um, the only kind of critique that I would say about it and it's a very very minor critique but just to have some visual indication of where checkpoints are so that the player will kind of know how much progress that they'll lose and they will factor that into well they ought to factor that into how aggressively that they'll do some of the jumping sections. But uh, aside from that, there's not really a lot that I, I would say as a criticism right now. It does seem to be, it did seem to cut like a little bit abruptly. So I'm wondering if you're expecting to continue it on from that point. But yeah, I mean, that was cool. And, and thanks for letting me know about it. I'm always happy to, to check out levels that people throw up in the chat. Look out for my dream stuff. Never, probably. Never say never, Kronos. Never say never. I hope all this is still together in five years. Love the channel, but yeah, hold me to it. Dare me. Double, t double dare me, mother fricker. <laughs> Not double dare you. Um, going to take a really quick break. We'll be back in about two or three minutes. <laughs>
Yosh. Let's see what we got in the rest of our playlist. How did I get these chords so tangled up? It's not like I'm moving around a lot. At least it's making the imp go wonky. And no, not 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 play. <laughs> we we just played that. <laughs> I'm glad that that you enjoy the channel, though, Leon. It does mean an awful lot to me. Uh, uh, putting together this stuff has been a really positive experience. Sometimes a labor-intensive experience, but. Oh, all in all, a really positive experience for me, and it's something that I, I look forward to working on. And it's just, for the most part, it tends to be a lot of fun. Sometimes we get creations or levels that are less than enjoyable, but I mean those tend to be more rare than I expected when I first started up. But I am a bit of a softy, so. Alright, do I do I need to pop those balloons? Where are we going? Look below. If uh, okay. It's um land? Ground? What what am I looking at here exactly? Can't have a good creation without a bit of labor, that's true. That is absolutely true. But I am... I'm happy that... Eh, Semi-happy that I'm not doing the 18 to 12... 12 to 18 hour production uh, show anymore. Because that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of labor. <laughs> this is more than a little labor. Usually, like, uh, the Fever Dreams episodes, they take... Anywhere between, like, two hours for a short one and four hours for a long one. It depends on how long the creations are. And the little bite-sized planet ones, they take usually three to four hours to do. Sometimes longer if the creation's a really long one. Oh yeah, the um, roughly 50 minutes fresh, the first series that I was doing, that was 12 to 18 hours to make. Like one episode. Oh yeah, yeah. A 30 minute episode was about... Well, I mean, I had it all worked out. I actually did a... I did an episode where I broke down like where all the time was going. And... I'd say probably 50% of the time, if not more, was going into animation and writing. That was a lot. Recording the levels usually took a couple of hours because I was doing five levels an episode. And editing took usually like two to three hours because I was getting pips for all the different levels. So I loved doing it. It was a it was a fun show, it was really cool, but like it was just it was so much work and it got to the point where I just didn't have the spoons to to put it together anymore but we got our two seasons we had uh, 52 episodes a season plus an intro episode a mid-season episode and a end of season episode maybe I should watch them after all the effort you put in only if you want to I I, I really don't twist people's arms to watch any of the stuff that I make it, People like them, and they want to watch them, and they enjoy them. It makes you really happy, but I would never say, like, you've got to do it. Because even the watching is a little bit of a... It's, it's fairly time-intensive, if you think about it. Well, how long would that be? I'm, I'm doing terrible at this level, so I'm going to bounce out of it. Let's see. 52 episodes, half an hour apiece. That's 26 hours a season if you watched just the base episodes. So it, it's a bit of a time investment. <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing here? Uh, calcium quest. Hey, we're out of milk. 
Something small while I work on bigger stuff. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's quest for some calcium, I suppose. I think instead of just going for milk, we should just eat people's bones. That would work as well, right? Okay. <laughs> what is going on with this chap? I, I kind of like the way that the, the joints are actually rigged up. That's kind of interesting. That's longer than Full Metal Alchemist for reference. Are you serious? I never, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> I can binge that. I'll get my sweatpants. <laughs> this is neat. I do like this. I hope this, this chap doesn't mind that I'm on his car. I'm just dancing. I'm dancing. I'm a dancing fool. This is definitely not New York City because he's not beeping at me. Can you play your ribs like a xylophone? Full Metal Alchemist is 52 episodes long, to be fair. That is true. You know, if, if you can't play your ribs like a xylophone, what kind of skeleton are you? Time to head home. Alright. Got our milk. Uh... Turbo Deluxe Massage, Craig's Mode, Craig's Model Bathtubs. Are those bathtubs that are made out of models, or are they bathtubs that are made... F the world may never know because they didn't actually let us go in there. Justin's used bones. Oh god. Where do those bones come from? Do they come from dead skeletons? The episode of uh, Ruffle Pippin's Fresh I remember most is the one with Neon Dimension Rush. No bias there, Kronos. Eh? <laughs> I have no idea why this charms me so much, but it does. <laughs> yeah, okay. <coughs> I'll give that a thumbs up. That was good. You know what would be a cool dream? Skelly with xylophone ribs with each note changing how the level works. Be a good platformer. Don't steal that. That's going to be my 2D platformer. That would be kind of cool, yeah? That was... I, I, that was a very good skeleton's. That's a skeleton that you could you could take home to mom. You could invite to the family. Oh, what do we got? Ball. Well, we just did a ball world adventure. I don't think we're gonna do another one. Andy's room. It looks like it's just exploring though. Original fan made sequel to my favorite game of all time. Dive into Vidomi, the underwater kingdom of Super Metroid 2. Full game to feature five zones, one to two hour story. That's more time than we can invest right now. Fuzzy Demo by Jellybird. Feedback's appreciated. I intend to make this a fully-fledged single-player experience with a story. Don't know what I'm going to do about music. Yet. Let's check this one out. It's a good thing he's drinking milk because milk contains calcium, which is essential for strong bones. You'd think it'd be easier for the skeleton to just kind of, like, rub it in, into the bones, though? I need to make silly short games like that in Unity. I think that could be cool. I would I would check out your silly short skeleton game. I would like to note that our character model, whatever our character is exactly, I think it's a fraggle, but is also floating above this rock. So clearly, we have some form of superpower. And I'm okay with that. I could be a fraggle shaman with a superpower. Welcome to my demo. Good luck finding all eight sunspots. If you need help finding them, just press up twice for hints. Oh, no, 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 I'm still reading that, yo. <coughs> Don't, why, why would, oh, maybe I've, I've actually moved out of the uh, effective range. 
Use left and right to control the selection and down to close. Gotcha. Fair enough. We do have a double jump. Good. It, was that a sunspot or is that just a nifty flower that blooms when we get close to it? I'm cool either way, but... Nothing up there? No? Guess not. What do you got for me? L1 or R1 while still is a crouch. X while crouching is a high jump. Cool. Alright, let's try that out. That is, in fact, quite a high jump. Oh, God. No! No! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. There's like a weird float at the end of the high jump, too. Are my ribbons helping me fly? These fraggles with their superpowers. It's a little bit slippery as far as movement. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Need you to... There we go. Awesome. Death milk. Death milk. What is making something like your game in dreams like compared to making it in something like Unity? That is a good question. Good Sir Harmon, what is the difference between making something like you made in dreams as compared to making it in Unity? Hold X after double jump or high jump to glide. Gotcha. That must have been why we uh, we were kind of doing that float there. Jump, jump, jump. Wait, what? Oh, we did. We 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 glid. We we glided. We glowed. I'm not sure what the past tense of glide is going to be, so we're going to go with glowed for right now. I'll have to check the OED if such a thing could be trusted. Although it's... Webster's is the one that was written by the murderer, right? Oh, crumbs. Crumbs! Hi. Uh, I don't have experience with Unity, so I'm not sure if I'd be the person to ask. Uh, if you want to know specifics about how objects are made, I can explain it. And you tell me? Cool. Ta-da! They started us back right at the beginning. That's a bit of bit of a pain in the tuchus there. No, no, no. Stay, stay on the, the, the moa. Moai? Moa? Crumblies. Alright, here we go. And a little bit more. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I'm seeing what they're selling here, but... I don't know if I would strictly say I'm entirely impressed at the moment. Oh, for... F God bless it. Alright, I'm giving that one more one more shot, and then, then we're going to bounce out of that. Because that's kind of annoying. Alright, get up there, get up there. I don't know why this character feels so fiddly. It, except just general dreams being pretty fiddly with controls. Alright. What, what are we doing here? See, I, I feel like I've got to creep up to the edge of things. And that's annoying. Okay, there we go. Can I just skip that? Excellent. And I think we got a heart. Cool. Uh, I mean, all the, lo the logic's pretty easy to understand. You can really make some complex stuff. As you can see, my dream is a bit harder, but it's all simple enough when you string it together. I found myself fighting in the thermometer, but not as much as you think if you're aware of how dreams works. Uh, it really likes lots of the same object, but I tend to be good at lots of unique objects. Huh. <coughs> is it... Is it kind of like with, um... Like with LBP... Every time you put a new material into a level, or a new sticker into a level, it increases the thermometer, 
but every new instance of that material or that sticker causes less stress on the thermo. You'll respawn at the last heartwood you activated if you die. Just watch your life, Connor. You want a game over, do you? I don't know. I might want a game over. Press R1, L1 while running full tilt to roll. Jump right after the roll for a long jump. Okay. Game over. Wah, wah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. That one was not quite my bag. To mosh in the game, you have to mosh in real life. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not destroying my living room. How about under the sea? Small snippet of what I hope to continue in the future. Platforming is a little light right now, as is the story from Queen Abaddon. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. Abaddon. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Ah, yes. Definite I F, by the way, Kronos. That sounds a little bit creepy. Collect 20 oysters. Be careful. Some may be worth more than one. It's up to you whether you like the fleck effect, but getting rid of it is hard. No polygons here. Everything is soft. So if you look close enough, uh, if you look close enough, uh, copies basically cost nothing. But the logic in them has the same cost, I think. Now that's interesting. We are very slow. R1 to fast travel to the beach. If, okay. Oh, maybe this leads to our bath escape. That's, that's what kids use when they, they don't want to wash up. They, they take the bath escape. Sorry. Um, although my procedural trees don't cost anything to have 50 of them, but the logic inside them is 2% each. 2% of the gameplay meter, that is. Wow. Okay. Now, I could see how that could get a little bit out of hand after a while. Nestor, yo! How you doing, yeah? I hope life is treating you relatively well. No, uh, no major problems. We're just doing a bit of running around in dreams. I'm not sure how much longer the stream's gonna be, but... I'm thinking at the very least until 10.45, maybe 11 o'clock. So there's still time to, to hang out, and I'm glad that you did join us. I don't have that game, but I have a little big planet just saying. Have you got a new level on, in Little Big Planet? If you let me know, I can write it down and uh, and see if we can get to it next week. Because next Sunday will be the LBP stream. This is kind of neat. This is a lot different than the one that I expected it was going to be. Because Dez was taking a look last Monday at this weird level where you played, I think, a blue whale or a humpback whale? It's probably a humpback whale, now I think about it. But it was really, really chill looking. It was very cool. Excuse me. My good sir jellyfish, do you have any oysters we could borrow for research? No, I don't have any level. That's okay. Oh, and we'll We'll see if we can get around to taking a look at it. Wait, wait, I want, I want this jellyfish, though. It's not a jellyfish. I want this oyster. Stop making... Where did you go, oyster? No! My oyster, she has disappeared. Fine. See if I care, oyster. Uh... Also, this is the problem I've found in dreams, but it may be a big thing that's going to be fixed. If you change an object's collision with logic, often sometimes the game gets confused and makes it physical when it shouldn't. 
That does sound like a bug, yeah. What game did you pick up, Nesta? Was it Wipeout? Because Wipeout seems to be the one that's uh, taken the world by storm, as far as the PSN. Oh, my stars and garters. That oyster up there has eyeballs on it. Clearly, it is a mutant. We must obtain that oyster for research. Come to me. Come to me. Now, can I use these to bounce like we did the last time? Yes, okay. That is how we're going to get the king oyster up there. Oh, it's not eyeballs, it's a crown. I was right, it was king oyster. Hold on a second here. How do we... How do we make our way to this fabulous monster, this beast? Uh, it says something. Hold on. Can I... Triangle to collect? I will collect you. Ha 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 ha. It stopped me from making truly infinite planets. I've already made a version of the planet that goes on forever. And it's really cool, but it gets confused whether an invisible rock should be solid. And you picked up Dauntless. Dauntless. I feel like I know the name, but I'm not familiar with the game. <clears throat> oh, we, we nabbed that oyster, yeah. I wish there was a little bit more of a sound cue when you pick up the oysters. Because sometimes I feel like I grab them and I don't realize it. Right, and this one is chill. Maybe a little bit too chill. Did I grab you? I grabbed you, okay. But that's not the worst thing in the world. <clears throat> Ooh, I missed you, buddy. Now, I bet this scientist that's asked us to get these oysters is gonna research how to make some kind of oyster soup. I bet it's all a clever ruse, because the scientist is too cheap to go to the store and buy his own oysters. Sends us out on this danger-filled mission. What a jerk. Also, I think we're running out of air. I noticed that that bar on the top is actually starting to go down a bit. Where's our final oyster? Anyways, that's my two cents about dreams making. But, I mean, you can make a game as complex as you like if you break it up into enough scenes. And, uh, the new game I bought is Dauntless. Right. The jellyfish electricity effect does look really nice. I think they did a pretty fancy job with that. Um, Hive, if you want, I can show you a sample not very good microchip uh, for logic at the end of the stream because I've got one put together to loop some music it's really messy and it's probably not the most efficient way to do what I'm trying to do but at least it kind of gives an example of, of how it's set up if I finish my LVP stuff I'll have to take it upon myself uh, and make a Yume Nikki level in dreams. I forgot to check. Oh my god, Kronos, I'm so sorry. You know, I bet if, like, Hiragana and Katakana in the searches that I could find a Yume Nikki level. Actually, give me just a moment. Because you can send dreams from dream.me in dreams.me to your game, right? So you can queue them up to play. Because while I can't use Japanese in game, I can use it on my laptop. You may need key. Let's try that in Hiragana first. Okay, there's no results in Hiragana. 
Cause I don't know. I don't know if the name was written in kanji or, or hiragana. I doubt it was written in katakana. Nah. It looks like there's nothing, Kronos. Even searching for it in Japanese isn't pulling anything up. Uh, you missed my live stream of Dauntless. I mean, Risu, I could make you a collaborator on my dream, and you can crack that open to show logic. Uh, thanks for playing through the level. There are a few objects in the level that I did not make, and I did not make the music either. Pulled them from the community. I really liked your level an awful lot, uh, Kelly Shook. I thought it was a lot of fun. I don't know if you heard the, the commentary we did at, at the end of the level, if you were here for that or not, but... I do think you did a really solid job. Are you thinking of expanding that level out? Are you going to continue it on from the point that it stops? Or is this kind of a, a completed project for you? And I think, uh, as to, to Leon, what you were mentioning about the, the collaboration, and that might be interesting for another stream, but I think it would probably be easier to just, like, pop in and show what I've got. I think I'll make the Skull Cave as a follow-up. I would like to see that an awful lot. And uh, absolutely uh, keep me in the loop when you've, you've got it finished up or when you feel it's, it's ready to, to be played or ready to be looked at. Because I'd, I'd love to take a look through that as well. And you know you can get a you can get a hold of me on uh, Dreams Verse or on Dreams Bubble. I have no idea what this last. Oh wait 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 wait. Have we? Is that it? Ha 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 ha! You cannot escape me, oysters. All right. Well, we got your oysters, mate. What are you, what are you gonna do with them? I can continue my research. Why is he putting that pause before research? Like, I'm sure he's gonna end up eating those oysters. But I liked it. That was a nice one. It's a lot for a stream that I've already took lots of time, that's fair. That's not the issue at all, Leon. It's just... I know how to get a hold of my stuff because it's my stuff. I've never done like a collaborator thing or I wouldn't know where to look in your level. September 14th is my birthday. Oh, hey, Nestor, that's great. I will have to, do we have a stream on September 14th? Do I even know if September exists? Well, uh, September 14th is a Saturday, uh, for me at least. I, I don't know if it's a Saturday for you. So, at the very least, if you drop into the stream on September 14th, I will say happy birthday, but I will not promise to sing happy birthday. Usually because my, my throat's pretty garbage by the time I get to streaming. And it is a Saturday, so it'll be after work. But if I don't see you, then happy birthday early from, from us to you right now. Uh, wake me up when September ends. Wake me up September 14th. <coughs> we could do that. I'll set an alarm clock for you. Just don't sing happy birthday. I won't. I promise I won't. Uh, let's check out Swampland here. By T-Bone Stakely. Why does that name... Why is that name familiar? We've looked at something of theirs. I'm almost certain. I I know that name. You have too many things, T-Bone. Well, what the hell? Hold on a second here. Because that's going to bug me now. At least the Dreams Notebook is not really very full. So it's easy to find things. Okay, Casey Jones. Chromic Oxide. Famous Prophet. Coloring with crayons. I f forget who did... That was Big Boy JB. Jump button was Port Town. Kill a Kiff was that race level. 
Uh, why is that name so darn familiar? Who are you, T-Bone Stakely? Well, bugger me sideways. That's just gonna, that's really gonna get on my nerves. I'm 13 years old, I'm gonna be 14 on my birthday. Congratulations, mate. Good to know you are surviving another year. So, I'll take a look at Swampland. Maybe it was a... Maybe I saw Dez play this. And I wrote down the name because I thought I wanted to look at it. We're the last hope. Okay. I don't mind being the last hope. Alright, so we've got our... Cultist of Haster. That's, you know, that's a thing. Nice map screen. I really, really like that. It's well done. Uh, L2 and R2 is shoot. O and L is dodge. Oh, I'll never remember any of this. X and square is slam. Square is light attack. Triangle's heavy attack. We got an upper sweep and a dancing spin. Hmm. Well, we'll try. Hopefully we'll remember all this. Yeah, it does look really, really nice. We're always the last hope. Why can't someone else be the last hope for once? Right? Two, three. Oh, nifty. One, two, three. Okay, and then that was a sl slam? It doesn't really look like a slam, but, you know, okay, we can go with it. There's our jump. There's our regular attack. That's just a, a stabby attack. And L2 and R2 to shoot? Oh, wow. Okay. Are you a shrine? L1. It, L, L1? Nice bit of music as well. And the movement does look quite smooth, doesn't it? Alright. It's got, got shrine piece number one. We have... Oh, God. What what are you things? There's not very much feedback when you're hitting things. So that's a bit of a downside. Like it it looks like there's a little health bar above their heads. But it's so small. I, I it doesn't really track for me. Is this, it doesn't lock on, does it? I don't think so. I, I almost kind of want to get closer to those bats, to be honest. Bats! Giant bats! Look at this tail! I honestly don't know, Hive. Like, I really don't know how... how aspects of the game like that are put together. My own knowledge of, like, behind-the-scenes stuff in creation is extremely limited because I just haven't had the time to really dig down deep into it which is a little bit disappointing because I I really want to make a new hub and I really want to make a new avatar but yeah I just don't have I don't have the time to work my way through it uh oh got more fire bats now, why couldn't they be Aquabats? Why has it always got to be Firebats? They are fancy looking, though. And are we shooting right out of our dome piece? I think we are. Someone's gone and put a laser gun in our brain. If Are we not hitting that? Okay, no, sure. Fine. I didn't want to shoot those things anyways. Eh? Oh, he's got fire. Of course he does. Uh, Damn it, that's the one downside. Wish people remembered the importance of feedback. Right? If you can detect a bit, then you can definitely make a little kickback or turn red animation. Or if you can detect a hit. Gotcha. 
<laughs> nice! I hadn't considered that, but now now that's going to be my headcanon. Isaac escapes the basement, becomes the cultist of Haster, shoots tears at people. Is that the only checkpoint? Like, are we always going to have to start back at the beginning of the map? Because that would... That would put a little bit of a crimp in my enjoyment. Just a little. It doesn't look like the field is all that large, but still... You know, why retread so much ground? Now, I don't want to fall off again. Oh! Oh! We, we made it! Holy crap! We are... Like, basically, we landed on our toes. It's a good thing we've got gravity toes. Because we would have been in trouble. <laughs> nice call, Kronos. I like that. And if you get, if you get brimstone, you basically literally are a headcanon, so... See, this is why I surround myself with funny people. Because then it takes all the pressure off of me to be funny. I appreciate that they've actually got, like, your... Your headlight. <laughs> your headlight here is actually producing light. Kind of throwing a little bit of light off the environment. It's a nice effect. It's a relatively simple effect, but it, it's effective. Let's see, there's a couple more over there. Also, natural foes of the Aquabats. Stop. Stop shooting fire at me. Nobody likes it when you shoot fire. Yeah, it's just like... It's just like stabbing air. There's no real... It doesn't feel like there's any indication that they're actually taking a hit. Let's see, we got 4 out of 11. That's not so bad. Where else do we need to go? Oh, and I do remember the end of this level is like super, super bright. So I should probably throw a warning out to folks well before we get to it. I remember it gave Des a fair amount of trouble, and, and even me watching on the screen, it was kind of hard to look at. Ooh. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Tucked away in a hidden veil. Nifty. Yeah, I might I might want to do this on the show. Uh, excuse me? What was that? You're not allowed to snark at me. These guys are just they're snarking. Oh well. Not everybody's gonna be polite. Like, there must be a health modifier detecting the hits. All you have to do is wire it to force a plier to kick back or a keyframe that turns the enemy red. That's a one gadget fix. I think just anything to give... the, uh... to give a sense of physicality, of solidity to the enemy. To me, that's kind of the big... my big issue with it. I'm just going to skip over those enemies because they're a bit of a pain to fight. Oh, but they're guarding. Guys are guarding the key. Well, that that's not going to be allowed. Alright, we got eight. I don't want to rush this, but I do kind of want to rush it, to be honest. As much as I'm enjoying this, and I'm, I am really liking this level, 
but we are kind of brushing up against our temporal limitations. Uh, are we out of range? Now there's one there. We only need two more. And I see one of them. I, I saw one of them. Where, where did you go? Why do you tease me? What have I done to thee? Prithee tell me, good sir. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Nay, good s sir. Still your mouth and hold your tongue, for I need no more of your help. And is that the last one there? Huh. I wonder why Des had such a hard time finding the, uh... <clears throat> finding the last one. Well, it is not for me to throw shade, that's for sure. Maybe if they're ghosts, though, you can argue they shouldn't be able to be physically moved. That's a fair point. Okay. And if there's an in-world explanation for it, that's fine. <coughs> they do look a little bit like a crossbreed between... Mr. Saturn from Earthbound and the ghost from Pac-Man. So that's not an unreasonable conclusion. And we just got to get over to that giant block of rock salt. Which will continue to get brighter and brighter as we go up. So if any of you, and this is not joking, if any of you are photosensitive you may want to find something else to look at for just a minute or so. See, the, the thing is so... Oh wow, we made it to the top really quick. Thank you, Traveler. Our journey will continue. Well, thank you, uh, TJ Bony Steaks. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a really nice one. All right, then let's wrap things up, and we're just going to take a really quick look at uh, my creation here, and I can show you a sample, terrible microchip, but a sample microchip nonetheless. Let's see if I can actually get up there. I do kind of dislike movement in create. I always feel like I'm heading off in the wrong angle or the wrong direction. So, basically, this is super clutched together because I kind of set it up in the style of Little Big Planet logic because I didn't know what I was doing. But you've got these different gadgets that you can use that represent kind of logic triggers and things like that. The controller movement is hard as hell. So, and these can be pulled down from the menu here. So where are we? Modes, da 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 da, gadgets. All right, so if we go into our, don't give me my pop-up. I don't need the pop-up now. If we go into our gadgets, and they'll give us the different gadget types. So you got your sensors and input. Stop, I'm trying to explain something. <laughs> uh, sensors and input, you've got logic and processing. Uh, movers and output. Not all of this stuff is going to go on the microchip. Uh, most of that's like logic and sensors. But like this one here will detect if something is in a zone that I have set up. Oh, Nestor, you have a great night. I, I hope that uh, you enjoy the time up into your birthday if we don't see you before then. And we will uh, see you next time. You get used to it, but it's awkward as hell. Uh, it's awkward at times. Yes, it is. So, basically, when I take control of the avatar to play the level, and it considers the character in level now, so it'll trigger this trigger zone. And the trigger zone will go to these counters. And the counters are going to start up the first song. Then when the first song ends, and that's going to start up the second song, the second song ends, it's going to start up the third song, 
and then to the fourth song, and then it'll loop back around to start up the first song again. I I guess I mean I've never I've never done visual programming, like visual programming qua visual programming I guess. Uh, it's really similar to how the logic works in LBP2 and LBP3, but it seems like a, a far more robust kit. And at least so far, I'm kind of having trouble taking the skills that I have in Little Big Planet, which are not great. They're decent, but they're not great and kind of applying those same techniques even though I have, I have the feeling that things should work like they do they just don't always but that's kind of the problem when you you know kind of spent all this time just in LBP doing things that way so to kind of get my brain to change gears to do it in the dream style is not like super duper easy for me also if you're good at like mathematically creating things in dreams there's a single generator and a single manipulator and a calculator etc oh they got a calculator now because i think we i think we had a signal generator in lbp but i don't remember if we had a, excuse me i don't remember if we had a calculator or not i don't think we had a calculator Pretty sure you just had to make your own. But if we go into the play mode, and there's my my first hub is way over there in the background. I'm not like a super big fan of either of these hubs, to be honest. They're getting kind of old for me. But so I, I as soon as I kind of animated the character, as soon as I grabbed the character, and the lighting effects changed and the music started playing and all of that hullabaloo. But that's like the super, super, super condensed version of how logic works in, in dreams. I haven't set up a little bit of a teleporter. But I couldn't figure out how to turn off the music from the first hub when I came into the second one so you can hear both tracks playing at the same time. And that's really annoying so I never use a teleporter. <coughs> All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's enough of that. I don't know why I made a remix of that level. Oh, um, you know, it might be might be a connection there. Hmm. All right. We have. It seems like we're getting a little bit of buffering on my end, so that's probably a good signal. Also, it's eleven o'clock. Oh, I gotta wake up tomorrow at 4.30. Uh, the vacation is officially over. And while on one hand, I really, really do want to work, and in a sense, I am looking forward to working, I am not looking forward to waking up at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> my, my... Nothing. Uh, this is no wor not worth complaining. Uh, this was a really, really good one. All these streams, I've been having a really great time with. But I I'm so glad that y'all are showing up and and y'all are enjoying things as well. Uh, it was good that we got to see Cult Master Monocle again because it has been a long time. It was nice that Shooky Monster dropped in as well. It's always good to see new faces. Of course, uh, Birthday Boy Nestor, soon to be Birthday Boy Nestor. It's good to see. And and our our, our top three, our, our our trio of um I don't know why I want to say devastation or mayhem. It's like if you say trio, you almost have to say devastation or mayhem afterwards. It's like a, a rule or something, but uh Leon Kronos and Hive, thank you so much. Thank you for showing up and just being active and bouncing off each other and keeping uh, me occupied as well as keeping yourselves occupied. I, I appreciate the time that you give to me by uh, coming into these streams because I know it can be 
a pain in the butt with time zones, and I know to set aside like two hours or two and a half hours is, I mean, it's not a small thing, so I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Hive. But I, I really do have to take off. I, I really do need to pull out the futon and sleep. So, uh, from me, Risco, here in Osaka, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be, thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigatou, arigatou, sayonara, see you, and ciao.